When an EV is brought to the shop on a tow truck, the problem often has nothing to do with its high voltage battery. Rather, many are brought in with tire damage, suspension issues, or a failed 12 volt battery. So what does this old technology have to do with today's complex EVs? And how, as a tech, can we get the customer back on the road? Well, the 12 volt battery in an electric vehicle might seem like a relic from the past, but its importance cannot be overstated. This smaller battery acts as a bridge between the driver and the main high voltage system. When you press the start button, it's the 12 volt battery that initiates the process of powering up the vehicle's computers and control systems. One of the key functions is to activate the contactors, which are heavy duty electrical switches that connect the main battery pack to the rest of the vehicle's high voltage systems. Without a functioning 12 volt battery, it won't be able to wake up and prepare itself for driving, even if the main battery pack is fully charged. It also ensures that critical safety systems such as hazard lights and door locks, remain operational even when the main battery is disconnected or depleted. The real challenge for us technicians is gaining access to the 12 volt battery when you cannot unlock the doors with the key fob. For many cars, you can take the metal key out of the fob and use that physical key to unlock the driver door. You can then release the hood and charge or replace the 12 volt battery. Other vehicles place a connector behind a removable bumper plug to power the battery. That allows you to open the doors and gain access to the battery. Jumpstarting an EV 12 volt battery is virtually the same as jumping an ICE vehicle battery and every technician will grab a portable battery box to get the EV from the parking lot into the shop. Portable battery boxes, such as this one from Jackpack, eliminate the need for another vehicle, making them ideal for technicians and shop owners alike. Before attempting to jumpstart an EV, it is important for technicians to review the service information to determine the procedures from the specific vehicle manufacturer. Tesla recommends using a portable jump starter or another Tesla vehicle for jump starting. They advise against using another brand of EV or a conventional gasoline powered car. But Nissan says the Leaf can be jump started with another 12 volt battery or a portable jump starter. While a customer may feel confident that they can jump start their vehicle, as a technician, you should advise them not to do it. Some manufacturers require professional servicing to maintain warranty coverage, especially for battery related issues. Plus, trained EV technicians have the tools and knowledge to safely diagnose and resolve complex electrical issues on these vehicles. Remember to use proper safety equipment, including insulated gloves and safety glasses. Ensure that the portable battery box is turned off before connecting cables. Connect the positive terminal first, followed by the negative terminal, and allow the 12 volt battery to charge for a few minutes before attempting to start. Once it's running, carefully remove the cables in the reverse order of connection. Remember, never attempt to jump start or connect to the main high voltage battery pack which is always signified by its bright orange wiring. For more EV training, be sure to watch our other Benpack EV Garage Series videos where you gain more information and knowledge to be a successful and safe EV tech. I'm Eric Garba, coming to you from the Benpack EV Garage Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.